Orienteering Club in Portland, Oregon. Today our, we're going to have a video on tutorial of how to use Purple Pen Orienteering course setting software. Purple Pen is freeware. If you like it, please send a donation to the developer to continue his work. Purple Pen is a sort of virtual tracing paper that you use to overlay an existing OCAD orienteering map. This has the great benefit of letting you set courses and move controls all over the place without ever messing with the underlying OCAD map. Here is the website for Purple Pen, and this is where you can download the software and make a donation. After you have it loaded, you can double click to get it started. Let's get rid of this browser window. Today we're going to uh, create a new event as a sample. Uh, we'll call this one demo. The next step here, choosing your map file, you need to pick the underlying OCAD map for the area where you want to go play. These next few buttons you can just click on through. I click next a few times, click next, finish, and up pops our oh, purple pen window with the map of our area uh, centered. Notice we have no control point set at this time, but we will fix that in just a sec. You can scroll and zoom in and view the map at whatever detail you want and click and drag to pan. Uh, the first step is to add all of the control points for your entire meet on the base map. Let's start with making a starting point and add our first control at this point here. Uh, here's where the fun starts. We can add a control. It starts with the default number of 31. And over here in the yellow boxes to the right of the number is where we can make a control description for that spot helps to know the orienteering hieroglyphics to do this. Fortunately, as you mouse over these, we've got the plain text description at the bottom. And we'll select vegetation boundary for this particular control. I'll add five or so additional points so we have enough to make uh, a couple of courses. Add control. We'll call that a null. Control. Trail. Junction. Control bend in trail. I always find this description a little hard to find. The trail is easy, but the bend is hidden here in the second to the last column at the very bottom. Keep that one in mind. And we'll add a few more controls over here in the south end of the map. And notice if we want to be a little more precise with our control placements, we can zoom in and drop that point exactly where we want it to be. Not a terribly creative course today, lots of trail junctions, but for the purposes of the demo, that should work okay. And that is a fence, and it's at the southwest end of the fence. Okay, so we've laid out six control points, now it's time to make our courses. We do that by clicking Course and clicking Add Course. Uh, we'll call this one short. Typically, you'd want to use white, yellow, orange, etc., the normal orienteering format. And you might think, whoa, what happened? Everything's disappeared except my little start thing. What happened to my controls? If you look at the tab in the upper left corner here, if you click controls, look, they're all still there, but when you want to make a course, they um, disappear. To use some of the controls for a, a beginner course, we click on Add Control. And now we have two things that happen. We've got uh, a line from the start going to a circle with a plus sign inside it. And all of our existing control points are now visible, yet they're grayed out. If we move this box close, it snaps in and matches the first control. To add a few more, we're just going to make a clockwise course that heads around like this. Then we're going to add a finish line to there, and we've got our first course. Let's make a second course. We do that by clicking Add Course. We'll call this one Long. And notice we now have a tab that's been added showing our long course and the controls we use for that. Again, click Add Control to use all the existing ones. Um, you'll notice now that we've got this extra line that's snapping back to the finish line. Um, it's a little different than the first one, than our first course, but just bear with me and kind of ignore that. <laughs> I find that a little distracting when I first started using this software, but that's kind of the nature of 
the beast and control to here add a control to 31 and that would be our long course and now we're essentially done we've got let's toggle through these tabs here we can see all of our controls with no lines drawn between them we can see our short course and we can now see our long course at this point we're about ready to print uh, but first we're going to show you one other feature of the software that's a little hard to find that I find very handy and useful and that is a way to make your map a little more pretty if you've done any work in OCAD you know that it is a hassle to add any kind of text or graphics in the underlying map but here in purple pen it's really simple but it's a little hard to find click on item go to add special item and you can click on a text type in your text here and now if you click and drag a box up at the top it adds whatever text you want it to and you can resize it and change the color and font and all that very easily uh, one other handy thing to add add special item again is an image file for example the logo of your club or some kind of graphics if you select the image click and drag anywhere in the box and you've added a logo for your club finally the last step is printing um, I would do that by create hit create PDFs this brings up an option to make PDF files of your map and my printer is a little messed up today so I'm not going to show you what that looks like but here's where it would happen you also want to print the control descriptions that happens from the file menu print descriptions and from this um, option box that gives you a drop down here you want to pay attention to the course default is just the orienteering symbols but because this is a beginner course we usually like to use symbols and text so you can select that um, to get the, the clue sheet that's a little more beginner friendly clicking print at this point would generate um, some PDF files of the controls and I do have a couple of those saved that I'll show you here from a previous image um, so check this out this is what it's going to look like more or less at the top we've got the name of your meet the long course the distance and then each of the controls the control numbers the symbols and the description for every point that is about it for purple pen I hope you've enjoyed this demo if you find it useful please send a donation to the developer Thanks a lot, and adios from Portland.